VOBTR7 Headphone Amp The VOBTR5 was a device I had a specific attachment to. It was my personal portable DAC amp that I would use on daily commutes and long trips, pairing them with all my EMS. Nothing has replaced it until now with the release of its next development, the VTR7. This new Bluetooth DAC aims to be the upgrade to the VTR5 that many have been looking for for quite some time, with the inclusion of new chipsets and amp circuitry that puts the VTR7 more on the level with VO's recent DAPs. Having spent some time with the VTR7, is this is an upgrade that you've been waiting for for the VTR7, VO has taken inspiration from their latest DAPs, both in terms of its interior and exterior design. The VTR7 is a total redesign of the VTR5, and you'll certainly notice is a larger build. I like that the BTR5 was small enough to fit in my mini pocket, and the BTR7 still can too. It might have more density to it, but I think the more rigid aluminum build does more to improve durability. The display also receives an upgrade with a new one. 3 inch screen that indicates more information than the BTR5, like whether or not you're using MQA. Some might wonder why the whole surface of the device isn't a screen, but I don't think it is all that necessary when you're just using it to show information. My favorite new inclusion is definitely the 4. 4mm balanced headphone jack, as the BTR5 only had 2. 5mm. There is a ton of new circuitry that helps bolster the BTR7's performance. In addition to its high-performance ES9219 C2 DAC chip, the BTR7 gives you 2 THX AAA 28 amps to really enhance its power. That is 4 whole channels of THX goodness packed into one small device. For its Bluetooth chip, the BTR7 gives you a Qualcomm QCC5124 set with a dual-core DSP CPU. This keeps the stability of the connection intact, especially when using more demanding high-res codecs like LDAC and Apps HD. I feel like USB mode is also a lot more friendly to use on the BTR7, with its streamlined dongle mode. The BTR7 can decode lossless data through PCM at 384 kHz, and native DSD 256. One of the last improvements made to the BTR7, is the battery life, which has been significantly increased, as I was able to clock in around 9 hours of total charge. I've spent countless hours with the BTR5. Check out the description for more information in latest price.